Today we celebrate Commitment Sunday, the third and final weekend of our parish's stewardship renewal. Over the past couple weekends, we've heard from our celebrating priests as well as our fellow parishioners about both the challenges and the joys that come from living stewardship as a way of life. In a few weeks, uh, the Holy Father Pope Francis will inaugurate the Year of Mercy for the Church. Mercy is something that proceeds from the very heart of God, uh, and yet this year, we are being asked to be stewards of God's own mercy. In our parish, we are seeking to promote stewardship of mercy, the extension of God's mercy through acts of kindness and compassion and love. All of us have gifts that enable us to be such stewards, and I would ask all of us to prayerfully consider how we might be instruments of God's own mercy. Hi, my name is Dan Caskey. I've been going to uh, St. Mary's. Uh, just recently, uh, I got an opportunity to volunteer. And I was uh, diagnosed with being ill, and I found out what it meant to have a clergy visit me in a hospital and give me support like that, and I'm glad to pass it on now. And I, I, I receive more out of it, I think, than some of the uh, people I, uh, I uh, serve. I've been receiving communion at home, and I am so grateful for all the Eucharistic ministers I've had. It means a lot to be able to receive the body of Christ, and it, it does my heart and my soul so much good, and I am very thankful for everybody at St. Mary's. My name is Joey Dillon, and I'm a junior at Bishop Fenwick High School in Peabody. Here at St. Mary's, I'm an altar server, a lector, and I hope to become a Eucharistic minister. I'm here today to talk to you about how I started a club at Bishop Fenwick called Healing Hearts, and it's where we make prayer squares for the Kaplan Family Hospice House. They do mean a lot to people. One of my close friends passed away uh, from cancer, and at her eulogy, her family spoke about how much the prayer square meant to her because she was a knitter, but it made me realize how much these mean to people and how I did make a difference and comforted her in her last few days. So hopefully uh, St. Mary's Parish can help out as well. Hi, my name is Deirdre Riley. I joined the St. Vincent de Paul Society here at St. Mary's. Little did I know how much I was gonna get back spiritually. When someone you've helped hugs you and tells you their life changed the minute you walk through their door, or when a teenage son bursts into tears because you've given his mother a food voucher, a gas card so he can get to work the next day and tells you that he never thought anyone would help them in that way. It's a blessing. Every call, every visit is a little miracle. We get back so much more than we give. Okay. In a moment you're going to be handed a stewardship commitment card. On each card is listed a variety of suggestions on how you can offer your time, your talents, and your treasure to build up God's kingdom starting right here in our own faith community. I invite you to take a look at the card, and while doing so, please ask yourself, how is God calling me to use my unique gifts to build up His kingdom? Please fill out the time, the talent, and the treasure section of the card. Then during the offertory collection, I invite you to place your card in the offertory basket as a thank you to God for all His many blessings. Thank you so much and God bless.